well, well, well. Ichika is one of my favorite female characters. Her past, her strength, emotions in this battle that we saw against Asa versus Ichika was absolutely amazing. Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video and today in this video we are reviewing chapter 243 of the Black Clover manga. So, let's talk about Ichika's strength, motions and technique in this chapter. So, in the few chapters we got introduced to this new technique called Yo Jutsu and this is like their version of Grimoires in the Clover Kingdom, the Heart Kingdom, the Diamond Kingdom and the Spade Kingdom in the Black Clover Universe. But these scrolls do these like their own magic and we just saw the strength, the mastery of Ki and Yo Jutsu in versus Asta. Like Asta can't defeat her. He can sense her but no way Asa can master Yojutsu and the scrolls in this chapter. My favorite bit of the whole manga chapter was Asa saying, but that's not the only thing you have in your mind, is it? Ichika says, don't talk like you know me, you fool. So Asa saying, you have a lot of emotions and there's more deeper thing she knows about Yami in her backstory she knows something and i can't wait to be revealed because if asta sent something about her during the fight and ichigo got very angry about that that's the best bit thing like i can't get my words out of my mouth like something is going to be flipping amazing that when that gets revealed that asta can sense anger emotion tense emotion about yami's secret in this past before we see Asta versus Ichika's final battle of this chapter, we see Rukia stopping them in the middle of against their clash. You see how Ichika reacts when Rukia is near by her. She definitely loves him. You could definitely see it. You could see how he she changes her personality with near him so does that mean is he evil or is he good we don't know but i think he is good he probably just have a devil eye that knows where different devils are located or coming like we see at the end of this chapter so this is interesting so i can't wait for that then near the end of the chapter we saw Asta like saying he can't master this technique but he got a hang of the technique that he's been learning during the fight against ichika and before the fight against ichika best bit that we see at the end of the chapter that was the demon sister Lily. I don't remember the other two characters name on the other panel of with sister Lily, the demon version of her that was the left side and the right side. The left side is the person with reincarnation magic that saved Lichia, Lichia's soul in Light's body and from the elf reincarnation arc of the right side I mean. Um, he attacked a village to find a magic stone in the first very arc of the Black Clover anime slash manga. Somehow he looked like he died in the manga. So I am interested about Lucia's magic and plan in the Black Clover manga for the final saga. How did he revive the dead? How did he mind control this person of this? And why is he there? Why, why is he important to go to the land of the sun or part of the plan? It's very interesting what he's going to do in the future of Black Clover 
in the story. Before I end this video, I want to talk about my little prediction for the next chapter. I will do a prediction video soon on the channel when I can do it. But I'm going to give you a quick little theory slash prediction for this next chapter. So I thinking that we will see the full potential of the Yojutsu being evolved against the fight against a demon for once. We have a demon versus Yojutsu technique just in chapter, just previously in the chapter against Ichika and Asta, but this is where we see a full manifested demon not like with Asa and Libe because they share a 50-50 contract. They share a friendly contract. Natch and his demons share a dominated contract. Demon Sister Lily and the two new demon possessions that we see behind them but it looks like they have either angel wings or demon wings. They can be the full true power that knocked and Asta can bring out into the world, real world, but we can see how the Yojutsu can perform against them. Or, why are they there? Why are they there? That's like the biggest question we have unanswered in this chapter, because are they looking for Asta? Or are they have looking for something in the Land of Sun that Roku and Ichika hasn't told Asta that we know we audience we can know about the lands of sun more and more why it is important for these demons to come there but i don't think they're going to come after asta because they think they think asta has died against lucius that we saw a couple chapters ago but this is interesting like what's going to happen against this but my best bit of prediction is that yo jutsu potentially be used fully seen in the next chapter next few chapters so that is my prediction for the next few chapters so i hope you enjoyed this chapter review and if you do hit a like button right now because it helps the algorithm push this video out but thank you for watching and see you in the next video peace out guys